I was thinking. Oh, do, do, do you, you want to? No. No, I was thinking we ordered Papa John's. Oh, OK, yeah. The sensation yeah. I get from sex and the sensation I get from eating pizza, it's like interchangeable for me at this point. These issues may seem trivial. They need to be addressed. Where do you think we go from here? I don't know. What if we turned all our fights into songs? Let's start a band. I'm a great neighbor. Hey, Dave. Hi, Dave. I was in a band myself. Oh, yeah? What was it called? The band was called Myself. It was a sort of solo percussive group. You know, rimba, uh -huh. conga, bongo, uh -huh. timbale. Let's make a list of our top 10 fights of all time. Dishes is big, obviously. Is big. That's a big one. But I think you can be a little judgmental. You being lazy. OK, you're uptight. You're distracted. Play a song. Unreal. You know, I can't relate to the lyrics at all. Right. I love it. Hey, everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Christy, Alonzo, uh, big superhero weekend, but also some cool indies. Uh, and one of them opening this weekend is Band Aid. This is a very clever premise. So, Adam Pally and Zoe Lister Jones play a husband and wife. They're in their mid 30s. They are stuck professionally and personally, and they fight all the time. They live in Los Angeles in some little house where there's always dishes piling up in the sink, and they just fight and they're miserable. And then one day, totally by accident, at a friend's kid's birthday party, they start messing around with the musical instruments and they start singing. They start singing about their fights and they realize this is really fun. And they keep singing and they keep fighting and they keep singing about fighting. Take a look. This is it. Looks like you two are up. One, four. Oh, wow. Embarrassing. That's what every husband wishes their wife would do. I spent my childhood trying to save my parents' marriage. I don't want to spend my adulthood trying to save yours. Maybe we're just too broken to fix. Couples fight. What can I tell you? It's how you navigate it that makes a difference. I just want to create something. You look what? beautiful. I've never seen you two like this. Writing songs with you. This is really cute, and um, again, it, it threatens to be a twee LA East Side hipster oh. indie movie, but uh, it's totally not. It's yeah. like sharp and it's mean. Zoe Lister Jones wrote it, directed it, produced it, stars in it. It's got a female DP, an all female, female crew, editor, apparently, female yeah. costume designer, um, and it's just like. It's true and sharp and mean and surprising. Yeah, no, this mm -hmm. is this is a movie that that I think winds up feeling a lot more honest than I necessarily expected because the premise is sort of like, what if people who decide that like Fleetwood Mac is a role model for like <laughs> marital counseling mm -hmm. that you're gonna work it all out in the music, um, but then it, they actually I think delve into stuff that that kind of goes beyond the the kind of the gimmicky nature of the plot, and you really do get to know these characters. And there's a great scene at the end between Adam Pally and Susie Essman. Who plays his mother talking about how men and women perceive things and, and how they see the world and how they react mm -hmm. to things and how they behave. Um, I went home and, and, and said, oh my God, there's this great scene about like the difference between men and women. And my friend Gary goes, oh, was it like that, that Sinbad bit? Men be like this and women be like that. No, it's no, actually it's really, that. it's very smart and intuitive, <laughs> I thought. Uh, but yeah, the whole movie I think is, um, you know, yeah, it, it has some its goofy moments. The the Fred Armisen character, who is this, who is just one of the sort of oddballs who like you keep peeling the layers of the onion, and there's just more oddity going on. You but know, I enjoyed him though, and he he's their drummer. Yes, of and course. The, the music is actually really good. The songs are catchy. I think it, she wrote them all. Yeah, right? she, I think she she co-wrote them. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but at first they're like stripped down, like they're literally a garage band. They mm. play in their garage <laughs> and they like unearth and dust off their old instruments and, and they find this like youthful exuberance and they find this romantic connection once more. But the, the songs start out kind of rough. Yeah. And then very slowly but surely they evolve yes. as well <laughs> as the relationship evolves. And um, maybe it gets a little draggy toward the third act, but um, but I was always invested emotionally and I cared yeah. what was gonna happen. I, I, I remain engaged and I, I wanted to know 
how it was going to work out because it, it at some point you realize that it's not going to necessarily unfold in a way that's predictable. So that's always interesting too, where you're like, okay, well, anything's on the table. Mm -hmm. So what, could, what, what, what might happen? That is know? true, and they have really great chemistry with each other, whether they are getting along or they are at each other's throats. Yes, these are great fights. Like. Yeah, <laughs> and they're recognizable. And it's mm. not like the writing is arch in a way that it's like super self-conscious and unrelatable. Right. Like I think people probably have these conversations and it felt it came from a really true place. Yeah, and I mean, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what your experience has been <laughs> in a relationship, but I think that most fights stem from money and housework. Yeah, it just stupid <laughs> shit builds up, right? Stupid shit builds up and then eventually you just can't deal with it anymore. Yeah. And that is the point at which we meet these people. Yeah. Right. So um I had a good time. I say seven point two. Uh seven point five. I was really impressed with this. Keep and, making uh, movies, Zoe Lister Jones. Yeah. This is really exciting to see. So um our number is seven point four. It is at eighty two percent on the tomato meter. Again, little stuff is available to you in the summertime. So I don't know where this is going to be, but if it's near you, go find it. Yeah. Bye.